Christine, the records actually show he has been booked at least nine times just within the last two years. Uh, one of his victims calls his actions disturbing, gross, downright creepy, and she today is reacting to the news that he is free yet again. I recorded just in case he was trying to say anything or do anything to me, but I definitely didn't expect him to do this. Like, what the actual f Content creator Michaela Witter caught this serial sniffer in the act while shooting this now viral TikTok. I was so freaked out when I turned around and saw him literally under me, so freaking close to me. It happened last week at a Burbank Barnes & Noble. What Michaela didn't know at the time was the sniffer's lengthy criminal history. I kind of got a flood reaction of some people recognizing him, seeing that he's done the same thing to them in different stores or whatnot. Days before, 37-year-old Khaleesi Karen Crowder was accused of peeping into a Glendale home with kids inside. Law enforcement sources say he was arrested and released days later. My heart dropped. My heart dropped when I was first told it, and then my heart dropped again when I looked it up and saw that he really was released. I was creeped out, and it was just like this really weird feeling that I still haven't kind of like gotten rid of, especially after hearing what he's done to other people. It felt like anywhere I moved, he kept following. Crowder has been arrested dozens of times for sex offenses and other crimes since 2005. According to court records obtained by Fox News Digital, he served time in California state prison for burglary and robbery charges and had been sentenced in February to a year in jail for indecent exposure in Santa Clarita. Michaela's reaction to his release? It's scary and I'm scared for my own safety. I'm scared for the other girls and anything that he could possibly do further on because they can't do anything until he does something worse and i'm afraid that he is going to do something worse and tonight we've learned that crowder was actually convicted uh, sentenced and convicted to eight years in prison for similar offenses in glendale this was back in 2011 not clear at this point how much if any of that sentence he ended up serving but this is a story we will continue to follow here on fox 11.